Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate for you how to count a respiratory rate. This is one of those very important vital sign skills that you have to do as a nurse or a nursing assistant. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the basics of counting a respiratory rate, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it on a real person. So first, let's cover the basics. Whenever you are looking at the respiratory rate on a patient, you're looking for several things. First thing you're gonna be looking at is the the rhythm and you're gonna look at the breathing effort of the patient whenever you're looking at the rhythm you're looking at to see if it's regular or irregular and what you're paying attention to is that inspiratory phase and that expiratory phase the inspiratory phase is whenever they inhale take a breath in and expiratory phase is whenever they exhale take a breath out and what you're looking at is to make sure that they are equal because in some patients, for instance, patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, the expiratory phase will be a little bit longer than the inspiratory phase. So they'll take a breath in and then they'll breathe out. And it'll be a lot longer. Now, next thing you're gonna look for is how's the patient breathing? Are they having difficulty moving air? Are they having dyspnea where they're going, or is it just effortless for them? They're not really even aware that they're breathing, just like how you're blinking. So you wanna pay attention to that. Next, you want to count that breathing rate. You wanna make sure that it is within the normal range. For an adult, a normal range is 12 to 20 breaths per minute. So we're making sure that they meet that criteria. So to do this, typically what you do is whenever you go in to do your vital signs, you'll collect them and you'll count a radial pulse by feeling on the radial artery and you'll count that for 30 seconds if it's regular and then while you're still holding the radial pulse site you are going to look at the chest of the patient and you are looking to see how that chest is rising and falling and you're counting those rising the rising and the falling as one breath because one inspiration and one expiration equals one breath and you're going to do that for 30 seconds and after 30 seconds you'll take that number multiply it by two and that is your respiratory rate so the reason you want to hold the radial pulse while you're counting the patient's respirations is because if a patient knows that you're counting their respirations, they're going to throw them off. And it's just like blinking. If you tell someone, I'm going to measure how much you blink, the person's going to be aware of how much they're blinking and they're going to be conscious of it and it's going to throw what the normal rate would be. So after you get done counting the respirations, let them know that you were counting the respirations. Now let me show you how to count respirations on a person. Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm gonna be your nurse today and I'm gonna take your vital signs. Is that okay with you? Absolutely. Okay, so I've performed hand hygiene and we're gonna get his vital signs. So let me see your wrist and I'm gonna feel your pulse. Okay, so your pulse rate was 70 and your respiration rate was 20. So that is how you count a respiratory rate. Now be sure to check out my other videos on how to do other nursing skills. And thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.